For example three, we need to graph this exponential function. So first thing you want to think of is f of x is really a y. Okay, so let's, let's mark that first. So y equals three times two to the x power. Um, for x's, we're going to always use negative one, zero, one. I call it the LOL, but it has a negative in front, okay? So negative one, zero, one. And now I'm going to plug those in for x right up here, which we did on the front side. So I've got three times two to the negative one. Okay, can't have a negative. So I'm going to put this over one, and I'm going to bring the negative down. But two to the first is just two. And since I have to graph this, I need the whole number here. So three divided by two gives me a decimal 1.5, which I can still graph that. Okay, so 1.5. Then for the zero, I've got three times two to the zero, but two to the zero is one. So this is three times one now. And three times one is three. Okay, so now we have three times two to the first power. Well, two to the first power is just two. So three times two is six. And so I'm going to graph it. So that first one, negative one, 1 1.5. We go negative one, up one and a half. So we land right here, halfway between one and two. Then we have zero, three, and one, six. And so when I draw this, it'll be a curved shape. And the curve will come really close to x, but actually it never gets there. It approaches x, but doesn't actually get to x. Okay. For the last one, we are going to take uh, f of x and make it y. Okay. And then we're going to use the same numbers, negative 1, 0, 1. And we're going to plug it in. So 4 times 1 half to the negative 1 power. Okay, so what happens is this negative 1 actually flips this whole fraction. Okay? So it would look like this. And then you know that 2 divided by 1 is just 2. And so four times two is eight. Okay, then we plug the zero in. So four times one half to the zero power. Well, this whole thing is to the zero power. So one half to the zero power means that you have four times one. This becomes a one right here. And four times one is four. And then we have four times one half to the first power. Okay, well the first power, you're saying one to the first and two to the first. That's just one half. Okay, and now we have to simplify that. So this is really over one. So you're saying four times one is four, and one times two is two, and four divided by two is two. So now I graph these. So negative one, eight. 0, 4, and 1, 2. And I draw my curve, getting really close to x, but never actually getting there, like so.